Good day, everyone. Our lesson for today is about graphing exponential functions using GeoGebra. Exponential functions have the form f of x equals b raised to x, where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Just as in any exponential expression, b is called the base and x is called the exponent. With the definition f of x equals b raised to x and the restrictions that b is greater than 0 and that b is not equal to 1, the domain of an exponential function is a set of all real numbers and the range is a set of all positive real numbers. Suppose we have 2 raised to x. As you can see above, the exponential function has a graph that gets very close to the x-axis as the graph extends to the left as x becomes more negative. This is what you call exponential growth. Knowing the general shape of the graphs of exponential functions is helpful for graphing specific exponential equations or functions. Remember that for exponential functions, b is greater than 0, but b is not equal to 1. In the examples above, b is greater than 1. But what happens when b is between 0 and 1? Suppose we have 1 over 2, or 1 half, raised to x. Notice that the shape is similar to the shape when b is greater than 1, but this time the graph gets closer to the x-axis when x is greater than 0, rather than when x is lesser than 0. This is exponential decay. Instead of the function values growing as x values increase, as they did before, the function values decay or decrease as x values increase. They get closer and closer to zero. 